Hello, this is your host Pratishtha. I hope you are doing good. Today, the video is about fraudulent activities that take place during the election. In order to win the election poll, there were various loopholes available for candidates to commit fraud before the technological revolution. The frauds were election manipulation, often known as voter fraud or vote rigging, includes illegally interfering with an election's process either by increasing a candidate's vote share, reducing the vote share of rival candidates or both. Aiming to reduce electoral fraud and streamline the voting process, the Election Commission of India implemented EVMs. The use of paper votes in India raised concerns of booth capturing, where party loyalists occupied a polling station and stuffed it with false ballots. The EVMs were designed to combat vote buying by limiting voting to 5 per minute. This innovation extended the time required to cast a fake ballot, allowing security forces to confiscate the fraudsters. A close button disables a device if a polling booth is forced open. Electronic voting signatures and thumb impressions are kept in a public register, whereas paper ballots were only inspected by court order. And the authenticity of every ballot was determined by an election officer. Was EVM helpful? Using data from state assembly elections, the surveyor spotted that EVMs reduced voter turnout by 3.18% and decreased voter turnout by 3.5%. From 1976 to 1977, the average winning margin was 15.8%. Therefore, a 3.18 percentile decline in the voter turnout might have a big impact on election outcomes. With EVMs, less educated voters are most likely to vote, strengthening disadvantaged populations. These findings show that lower turnout was attributable to fewer fraudulent ballots or less fraud than longer queues or voter antipathy to new technologies. So, how did data science and AI help in elections? Like in other sectors, data science and AI has revolutionized elections by providing security from corruption and frauds conducted by the candidate to win the election poll. As the Indians are completely revolutionized to digital, this has helped election campaigners to target the relevant citizens with appropriate strategies to gain their votes. A digital campaign requires years of diligent data collection, scientific data collection, and actionable insights from numerous data streams. Consistent adjustments can improve the use of digital instruments in Indian democracy. A data dashboard could be a beneficial tool in a political constituency. The dashboard helps lawmakers understand the demands of a particular neighborhood or area. This dashboard can use data from public forums. Before using the digital instrument, operators must finalize the dashboard's numerous elements. Some politicians have taken digital experts' advice to pay attention to text analytics patterns. This data science division collects and analyzes digital data from different social networking and microblogging sites. Demographic and social economic data can be gathered using these tools. For example, a politician who knows his constituents' educational achievements can advocate for specific government funds. We all know that despite technological advancement, the fraudsters have become more intelligent in finding loopholes and committing the frauds. You can take a step ahead by pursuing data science and create a model using data science and AI that can reduce the frauds committed by these fraudsters by the candidates to foresee their victory. Thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe to LearnBay. Don't forget to press the bell icon.